Hey everyone, Rick here. Today I thought I would do another quick little unboxing video of another obscure, uh, older classic title. In this case we have Warlocks and Warriors, uh, billed as an introductory level fantasy game published by TSR in 1977. Just taking a look at the box itself. A full color fantasy art front and a little brief description of the game itself on the back. Relatively thin box. When you open the lid, you're going to come across a couple different components, including some player pawns. They come in six different colors, and then also a white princess pawn and a couple d6. Then you're also going to have a rules folder. Uh, the game is very simple. There's only two pages of rules. On the back of the rules is a product guide for some of TSR's other products at the time. And last but not least is the fold-out player board itself. This is a roll and move game with some twists. So you're going to notice several different kinds of symbols and locations on the map itself. The goal is to escort the princess back to the safety of her father's castle, uh, but first you have to visit um, a few of the different locations on the map, while others will provide maybe a benefit or a detriment to your travels. Um, a player can either be a warlock or a warrior, as the title of the game suggests. Uh, there's no difference between warlocks and warriors in the base game, but there are some optional rules that give warlocks the ability to use spells while on star spaces, and warriors can have a benefit in a duel. A duel occurs when two or more pawns meet on the same space as long as they're not on a star space. And the first one, obviously, to get the princess back to the castle is the winner. It's a very light, family-friendly game. One that I don't hear too much about these days. Again, that's Warlocks and Warriors from TSR Hobbies Incorporated, published in 1977. Um, so thank you for watching.